It's late at night. You're exhausted. You got a huge exam coming up tomorrow and you're not ready. Maybe it's finals week. Maybe you've been studying for other exams. Maybe you just procrastinated. Maybe you had a personal or family situation happen and you just didn't have time to study. And now it feels hopeless. You got two choices. You can give up, go to bed, don't study, because you're too tired to be productive now anyway, so what's the point? And you'll probably fail the exam and suffer whatever consequences you have to suffer. Or you can decide to accept a little discomfort, a little sleep deprivation, and find out what it feels like to unlock another layer, another capability you haven't experienced before, but I promise you do have deep inside your brain. Let me tell you a quick story. It's the last day of finals week, my first semester in post back. To say that getting good grades is important to me right now would be a massive understatement. This is my last chance. My whole future, everything, is riding on my GPA these two semesters. My applied human anatomy final is tomorrow. I've been burning the candle at both ends the whole semester, but I really took a flamethrower to the entire candle during finals week and slept less than five hours a night for two solid weeks trying to cram for biochemistry, endocrinology, some other classes I can't remember, but I haven't even touched anatomy. If you're a pre-medical student who cares about your GPA, you should be getting a cold, heavy, palpable shiver down your spine right now as you see your future career slipping away. No white coat, no practicing medicine, no nice house, no beautiful family, it's all gone. So the anatomy final is tomorrow, 9 a.m., and I've got two choices. Either I get a pint of ice cream, lay in bed, accept that I'm gonna fail this final, or I take the few things that I've learned about studying during the semester through sheer trial and error, and I get to work. I can focus on the most common topics first, only focusing on the basics and not getting into the weeds, thinking like the professor and basically trying to ask and answer my own questions while I'm reviewing the material. Also, budgeting my energy and my attention span using the Pomodoro technique, studying no more than 15 minutes at a time with a five to 10 minute break in between each 15 minute Pomodoro session, but being very strict and setting a timer on my phone to end my breaks after five to 10 minutes every single time and just going and going until I feel like I'm gonna pass out because I'm so tired. Then, when I feel too tired to go on, I stop everything, chug a glass of cold water, and take a brisk walk outside and breathe the cool, refreshing, life-bringing air for a few minutes, and then going again, and again, and again, until I can't. And to be honest with you, while I'm doing this, I feel like nothing is sticking. I just keep reading the same PowerPoint slide over and over and over again, and it keeps feeling like new material every time. It's like throwing a basketball against an icy wall and just watching it bounce off and slide right off, and nothing's sticking, nothing is in my brain. It's just hopeless. It's midnight already, and the terror is welling up in my stomach as I realize I'm gonna fail this exam. Despite my best efforts, I've studied harder than I've ever, ever studied before, and I'm still gonna fail. My GPA is going to be totally trashed. All that hard work in the last four months of the semester, it's all worthless. I'm not going to get into PA school. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life anymore. I'm catastrophizing. But I also have no alternative. So I just keep studying and hoping that maybe something's going to stick and that might be enough to at least pass this damn exam with like a C or a D. Long story short, I keep pushing like this until about four in the morning. I sleep like a rock for four hours. I drive the 40 minutes to campus and start my pre-test ritual. I get a large Utica Coffee Company witch's brew coffee with some half and half and a bagel from the dairy bar. I walk to the classroom where the final's gonna be. I take out my lucky pencils, my water bottle, put in my headphones, and I listen to relaxing music for about five minutes, and I hope and pray for the best. The exam begins. First question, easy. Second question, nailed it. Like no second guessing at all, there's an obvious choice on the multiple choice and all the other choices aren't even close. Like the answer is obvious. Matching, nailed it. Short answer questions, easy. 
The knowledge is coming out of my head, but I have no idea that it's there. I honestly don't remember studying any of this stuff, but there it is. It's in my brain. I got a 92 on that exam and ended up with an A- in the class. And the rest is history. The point is, no matter how hopeless things feel right now, if you focus on putting one foot in front of the other, trusting the process, and being at peace with the possibility of failure, but giving everything you have to the present moment, doing everything you can to avoid that failure, you will eventually succeed, even if it doesn't feel like there's any chance that you will. I'll see you in the next video.